Guys, we are just one week away from Halloween. That's right, millions of Americans are buying candy for trick or treaters, which they'll rebuy in six days after they polish it off themselves. <laughs> That's right, Halloween is on a weekday this year. Oh. Yeah. Parents are like, You mean I get to work a full day and walk around for hours in the cold <laughs> darkness? Wow, awesome. I love Halloween. There's so many fun costumes like sexy nurse, sexy cop, sexy indicted Trump staffer. You know, they're, they're fun costumes. But if you're still looking for a costume, look no further. This year, you can actually dress up as a sexy, sold out Popeyes chicken sandwich. <laughs> Take a look. This is real. There you go. Yep. Most people called it ridiculous, while the president called the Statue of Liberty and said, You've been replaced. Let's get to some news here. Just when it seemed like things in Washington couldn't get any crazier, check out what happened earlier today. We start with a bizarre turn on Capitol Hill when as many as two dozen House Republicans upset over the impeachment inquiry stormed a secure hearing room. Yeah, Republicans stormed a closed door meeting to protest the impeachment inquiry. Even crazier, they used Mike Pence as a battering ram. <laughs> ooh, mother, ooh, mother, ooh, mother, 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 the Republicans actually stormed the room as a Pentagon employee was moments away from testifying about Ukraine, because nothing says completely innocent like storming the room of someone about to testify. <laughs> let him talk, let him talk. Get in there quick, get in there. Let him talk. <laughs> it really turned into an ugly scene among Republicans. I haven't seen that many angry white guys since NBC canceled Frasier. Uh, <laughs> Things are pretty chaotic in Washington. I read that a lot of reporters think this has been one of the worst weeks of Trump's entire presidency, which is really impressive when you realize it's only Wednesday. <laughs> Yesterday was really damaging to Trump after U.S. diplomat Bill Taylor told Congress that Trump withheld military funding from Ukraine unless they agreed to investigate his political rivals. I'm not saying Trump is nervous, but when he saw the testimony, he was like... Some 2020 news this week. There have been uh, a lot of reports about how more Democratic candidates are thinking about jumping into the presidential race. It's not clear who exactly mm. is. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton, is that you? That's right, Jimmy, it's me. And just like Mitt Romney's secret Twitter, I'm always lurking. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, wh where exactly are you right now? I'm ever-present, Jimmy. Always around you, forever at hand. Yeah, but really, where are you? Well, I'm in an air duct, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, gosh! All right, well, can we have somebody help Hillary Clinton out of the air duct? See you in New Hampshire! <laughs> oh, my God, I hope you're okay. Hillary Clinton in an air duct. I think she's up from that one. Okay, good. Some business news. I saw that Tiffany's just released an advent calendar that costs $112,000. Yeah, exactly like Jesus intended. Oh. <laughs> anyway, here it is. This is the real thing. Yeah, it's four feet tall. Uh, according to Tiffany's, behind the first three doors are everyday objects like a cup, a clothespin, and a harmonica. If the first three gifts are a cup, a clothespin, and a harmonica, the fourth better be filled with $111,000. That's all I'm saying. Just about soap. If I'm going to buy that. Yeah. Well, guys, Pizza Hut is testing environmentally friendly boxes that you can actually compost. Yeah. It wasn't that hard. The box is made uh, out of pizza from Papa John's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's good Come cardboard. On. It's good cardboard. It's fun. Speaking of pizza, after 23 years, uh, the Sabaro Pizza in Times Square is closing its doors for good this week. Aww. I think every New Yorker is feeling a little down about it, so I wanted to take a moment to pay tribute to our old friend. Standing on the corner by the Port Authority And I just heard the news that you're gonna leave 
Wish you weren't going, but I guess you must. Every slice of life always leaves the crust. Leaving us alone, and I hate to sound needy, but I'm missing your calzone and your baked ziti. Can't believe it's over after all these years. Gonna need a cup for water and a cup for my tears. Cause I would climb Mount Kilimanjaro to get you back. Times Square Sparrow, a 12 inch pie with a side of sorrow. Come back soon. Quest Barrow Here today, gone tomorrow I want you back Time to stretch a follow Here today, gone tomorrow